going on guys wanted to do a quick plate carrier review or more or less an overview um don't really feel like it'll be kind of a review but mainly an overview just kind of talking about my new second line or plate carrier that i'm going to be using uh primarily obviously as you can tell by looking at it by the title of the video it's an eagle industries plate carrier uh, also known by the army as the modular body armor vest or mbav typically i refer to it as the mbav just because it's what i've always heard it called um my old man, when he was in the army, was issued MBEV, and that's just what he always referred to it. We used to mess around with his MBEV, all his plate carriers. Actually, he used to have his CRS, or Cyrus, or however you want to say it, the Eagles uh, Combat Integrated Releasable Armor System. Uh, after he it was replaced by the MBEV, again, I had his OTV and IOTV as well. But uh, this was his absolute favorite plate carrier of all the ones that they were issued. Uh, if he would have stuck around a little bit longer, he would have started getting uh, the cry carriers and stuff, but uh, he opted to... Uh, retire but uh anyways this one actually particularly is actually one of his friends uh when he retired they did take his mbev away from him but he kept all the pouches and hardened soft armor but uh nonetheless you know that's totally whatever but uh this is actually one of his buddies and uh he was able to give me this one the reason why he was able to give it to me he uh he retired they didn't want it back they took his uh um lv mbev he was actually issued a cry uh, LV MBEV, which is the low vis, and that's actually a really nice carrier as well. And I believe he said he private purchased uh, a JPC. And uh, these are still typically used with the uh, Army Soft and in the Special Ops community. Um, not sure how much they're still used. I was watching a uh, a documentary of the Green Berets that was taken uh, May of 2014, and a lot of the guys were still wearing them. But uh, they're kind of falling out of favor for. Carriers such as the AVS, JPC, and uh, the CPC, which if you guys have ever, you know, if anyone's ever used one of the Cry Carriers, they are really well designed, and uh, they're really, I like them as well. Um, but comparing it to other carriers in the market, uh, the MBEV is actually a really nice plate carrier. Um, previously, like I said, I owned, and I got to search through my video files on my SD card to upload it as well, uh, an OBT6094 and multicam. Um, I've done different Condor plate carriers and just all kinds of plate carriers. I uh, was looking at getting a Mayflower uh, assault plate carrier, but again, this was free. It was a gift from my dad's buddy, so I want to roll with it. And I absolutely love uh, the MJK, which is, I don't remember exactly what MJK stands for. Something, if you guys know, leave a comment, but it's essentially khaki. It's the uh, what the Army used for the Special Forces Load Carrying System or SFLCS. Um, I do have some FSBE pouches on here, actually one right now, and I'm going to be putting some more on there, as well as some Cry, I was able to purchase a lot of Cry Precision uh, 330D Cody Brown pouches, so those will be going on here as well. And uh, you guys are going to notice this is actually running pretty light, it's actually not what I, my complete setup, I just wanted to do an overview, and just kind of show you guys why I like the MBEV, and uh, why I'm going to be switching to that. So, right up front, one thing I absolutely really, really like about the Eagle Plate Carrier. Now, this is the military version. The civilian version, or the LE version, has the Velcro like a 6094 does for your patches and F, uh, Friendly Forces Identifier. What was it? IFF? Identification for under foe. Yeah, IFF stuff. Personally, I don't didn't like it. It just kind of got in the way. If I do want to run a an IR flag up here I just put an admin pouch on but typically I either like to run that blank or what do you think about you know getting a holster from my 1911 to run it right there that's how my old man had his set and I really liked it um but again that's what I like it's got the full molly there's just molly all over this plate carrier so you've got a lot of room to accessorize it as you can see I just stuck two IR chem lights uh on either side have this actually adjusted pretty big um I'm six foot almost six foot one uh, 190 pounds uh, and this is actually a small medium uh, Eagle Pl Industries plate carrier I typically with my LBT 6094 I was wearing an A is a medium it actually fit me quite nice I'm kind of in between I'm too small to wear a large but almost too big to wear medium plate carriers so what I find the best to do for me and if you kind of like me in that situation is I'm, I don't have it on there now, but I'm planning on picking up a large, extra large cummerbund. Typically, these plate carriers, 
when you buy them from Eagle, you have to buy the cummerbund separately, and you can ditch it to run it lighter. Uh, like the old soft saying, light is right, and uh, ounces equal pounds, pounds equal pain. I do tend to run a lot on my second line, but at the same time, keep it light. Uh, it does have the integrated uh, pouch right here. You can buy aftermarkets, uh, mag pouches, and whatnot, like the 6094 does. Um, right up front, I just have a Allied Industries SFLCS triple with three P mags, uh, Eagle Industries nine mic or nine mil, Kydex mag pouch which holds one of my 1911 mags, and uh, another thing I typically don't do either is I don't run side plates. I just feel they're a waste, generally because this is all open as well, and really you're only protecting your vitals, and I like to cram either radios or uh, magazines in the side plate pockets. Just do a quick look on the back, waiting for a couple of hydro carriers to come in. I just got a SFLCS pop flare pouch, and then a Coyote Brown FSBE um, IFAC pouch, which I'm running as a GP pouch for now. Um, it's got the drag handle like most plate carriers do, so if you're down, drag you out like that, you can pick up your rig that way. Um, like most plate carriers, it's got a cummerbund, so it's easy. Uh, get in and out of it's not a quick release, but still it's way easier to get in out of than the older interceptors and uh, Just go ahead and show you guys the tag It says Eagle plate carrier with cummerbund I believe it says khaki kh and then my uh, old man's buddy uh, It's just his last name. We'll just leave it as Mac um, That's left in there not something I'm not gonna remove. It's pretty cool One of my favorite features I'd say about the modular body armor vest of the Eagle plate carrier is the shoulder straps a lot of guys do complain that they're not big enough and have enough padding, but honestly, it doesn't really grind or wear into my shoulders too bad. What I really like about them as opposed to the LBT 6094, which are really nice. They're very comfy, very padded, but they're bulky. And when I tend to run one of my assault packs as a third line, it tends to get in the way and push it out more. Whereas this plate carrier, being a lot thinner, doesn't do that. It actually folds right over really nicely, and I can comfortably run my third line. Um... So pretty much other than that, I do have a hard plate in there, um, in the front, and I got a soft plate in the back, or soft armor in the back, I gotta get more plates, I sold my R500s, and I'm just running a sappy right now, I'm looking at getting some e-sappies, but that is the quick overview of it, uh, again, I really enjoy this plate carrier, they're pretty inexpensive, uh, you can usually find them on eBay, between 150 and 200 um, you can get them in multicam. If you guys like the Velcro, you can get the LE version. They're in multicam. The MJK, Ranger Green, and I'm sure Eagle Industries has many other colors on their uh, on their website. Um, it's, a, it's still in use. It's a great plate carrier, and it's actually, like I said, it's my favorite plate carrier, and I was glad I was finally able to get one, and like, I'm going to be switching over to that. I personally uh, feel solid color PPE or personal protection equipment should be solid. Um, whether it's smoke green, ranger green, mass gray, khaki, coyote brown, tan, whatever. I feel those solid colors work better than having camo. You know, like having... So I want to wear M81 woodland or NATO woodland, whatever you want to call it. But I've got, you know, a multicam rig. Which, don't get me wrong, uh, M81 and Multicam are kind of your exceptions where you can use those. But, like, if I had a AOR1 or AOR2 plate carrier, it look kind of goofy with the woodland. It's just something you can easily transition to different uniforms or different areas while still remaining with one solid piece. Now, I will be uh, putting Multicam pouches on here, but a majority of the pouches are going to be an MJK or Cody Brown. But anyways, so that was just a quick overview and kind of my general opinion on the Eagle Plate Carrier. Again, you know, if you have your own opinion on it, whether you like it or not, totally cool. I like it. If you don't like it, it's what it is, man. You know, no biggie. Just wanted to share that with you guys. It's been a long, long time since I made a video. I'm going to go ahead and roll it a couple more. Anyways, thanks for watching. Once I get this completely kitted back up, go ahead and do another uh, video on it. Just showing how I run it. How